Hi guys, today I'm here to do the bookshelf scavenger hunt tag. So this was created by Sarah over at the Library of Sarah and I wasn't actually tagged directly by anybody but I had so many requests and comments and things requesting this video that I decided to do it. So here you go. So the first thing to find is a book with the author's name with the letter Z in it. So let me go look. Aha! I choose The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. So, there we go. Alright, next on the list is Find a Classic. And this should be pretty easy because I actually have quite a few. Okay, so I found Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And I know that quite a few people have chosen Jane Austen's books for this particular find, but I really want to choose it because this is one of my favorite classics, and then I um, have watched so many versions of this. Anyways, this is what I found. Next one is find a book with a key on it, and I actually don't know of one right off the top of my head, so this actually might take a few minutes because I'm like, 99% of the other people that have done this tag, I don't own the book The Archives, so I can't show you that one. But I'm going to try and find a different one, so we shall see. Oh, are you serious? I just found one. Okay, so this is a new book that I haven't really looked at very much. It's called The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. And do you see um, that right there? Ah, that's a key! That's awesome. That's that's so cool. I can't believe that I just like found that. That was perfect. Okay, well that's what I choose. Woohoo! For being different. Yay! Okay, so the next one is find something on your bookshelf that's not a book. And I'm going to choose my book jar that I just recently made if you saw my video. But yeah, a book jar. Um, the next one is find a book with a girl on the cover. And this is super, super easy because I have lots of those. I'm going to choose The Uglies by Scott Westerfield because this is one of my favorite books ever. And there is Tally Youngblood on the front. Love this book. The next one is find a book that has an animal in it. And I have seen a few people do this tag where they choose a book with an animal on the cover. And I've seen a few people do this tag where they find a book that has a constant animal like as a character throughout to the book. So I'm not really sure which one I'll do, but I'll do one of them at least. Okay, so I wasn't really sure like everyone does both of them, so I just decided to do both. So for an animal on the cover, I chose to kill a mockingbird and there's a little bird up in the corner. And for an animal in the actual book, I chose beautiful creatures for the dog Boo Radley. Alright, so this uh, next one is find a book with a male protagonist. Hmm. Ow, I keep hitting my elbow and stuff. I'm going to choose The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Cheezen. By Cheezen. By Stephen Chbosky. And I actually just read this, um, I don't remember when I read it. Was it like March? February? It's been just a couple months. I read it for the first time and I really enjoyed this and I really enjoyed the movie. And yeah, it's nice to read books from guys' points of views because I feel like I read a lot of books where it's a female protagonist. Uh, the next one is find a book with only words on the cover. Hmm, I don't know. So I kind of have hit a rut here. I cannot... I'm kind of struggling to find a book with just words on the cover. Um, I don't think I have one, actually. Which is, I, yeah, I thought I did. Um, I'm just going to go with The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling because it's just words and then a little, uh, uh, <laughs> X. That's what it's called, an X. A little check mark X thingy. So, it's mostly words. That should count. It's, it's mostly Mostly, just words. Mostly. So bummed. I thought the key one was going to be the one that would get me, but... <clears throat> the next one is find a book with illustrations in it. Woohoo! 
I'm going to choose a book that I just read. It is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. And this book is extremely, extremely strange. It's got very weird little pictures. I'll show you a few of them. Like this, this. So yeah, there's a lot of pictures in there. The next one is Find a Book with Gold Lettering on it. You know what's kind of interesting? This whole stack right here, I just realized, has gold lettering. Uh, Peter and the Star Catchers, all the Percy Jackson books, and the Heroes of Olympus books. So I'm going to choose The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, and as you can see, there's pretty shiny lettering. Ooh. The next one is Find a Diary, and it can be true or fictional, and I know exactly which one I'm going to choose. I am choosing the Princess Diary series by Megan Cabot and I have read the entire series. This is the first one and I have four in hard copy and then I have all the rest in on my nook and I actually don't know, I don't remember how many there are but there's quite a few and not only does she have quite a few of these books but she has so many of like the in-between books where it'll be like 1.5, 3.5, 4.5 and it's just like oh my gosh because a lot of these books I think all of them almost almost all of them take place in the school year and a lot of those little in-between books are in the summertime and I really enjoyed this series um most of you have probably seen the movie the, they, they came out with two of them and they did change a lot a lot in the movies but I really like the movies as well as a different kind of thing um I really like Anne Hathaway, by the way, but for example, in the books, the grandma is like crazy mean, like really mean and scary and like hates her granddaughter. And in the movie, it's freaking this chick. It's freaking Julie Andrews. That's not mean. That's awesome. That's super, super nice. So yeah, they kind of, I don't know where they got that, but whatever. I mean, I like Julie Andrews and I think she did a great job. So whatever. But yeah, this is my diary I'm choosing. The next one is find a book written by someone with a common last name like Smith. Okay, so for, for this one, I chose um, The Click by Lisa Harrison. And I've known quite a few Harrisons. Um, I had a teacher, I had friends, people like that. And the next one's super easy, find a book that has a close-up of something on it. And I'm going to choose The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and it has a close-up of a big eyeball. Ah! Um, and I love this book. So good. So good. Um, this one's going to be hard. It's find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to choose Bigger Greens by Kate Forsyth, and this book takes place in like the 15 and 1600s, so yeah. And I don't even know if I have one of these, because I'm really good about keeping the jackets, so we'll see. Kind of cheating a little bit. I'm going to choose Beauty by Lauren Conrad, and this is a hardcover, but I technically have the jacket for this, I just don't have it on because they are the exact same thing and it just was annoying me and so I took it off and it's the exact same thing so that's why it's not on there. Mm -hmm. The next one is find a teal like turquoise colored book and I'm going to choose the Bergdorf, Bergdorf, I don't even know how to say that word, the Bergdorf Blondes and it is by Plum Skies and I got this at a used Oh, this has gold lettering too. Ooh. Um, so this is just like a chiclet kind of book. Don't really know much about it. All right, the next one is find a book with stars on it. Ooh. Okay. So <laughs> I chose Peter and the Star Catchers by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson, and I read this a long, long time ago. And I haven't finished, this is one of those unfinished series that I would like to someday finish. This is a retelling of Peter Pan, and I actually really enjoyed this. But it has stars on it. Can you see? Ooh, and they're sparkly. They're so pretty. Okay, it's not wanting to focus on the stars, but I promise you, I promise they are stars. You can come over and look, I promise. I'm not lying. I promise. 
There's only one left. Oh, this is fun. I want it to end. Uh, find a non-YA book. And this isn't too hard. Okie dokie. I'm going to go with The Time Traveler's Wife. And this is by Audrey Neffinger. And I read this not that long ago. And then I read it like a little while before the movie came out. So whenever the movie came out, that was about the time I read it. Um, I enjoy this. <laughs> Bawled my eyes out. Oh my gosh. Okie dokie. So that is it. That's it. So I stopped the video for a minute and I made a big list of people I want to tag. And while I was making the list, I realized I am an idiot and I was tagged by people to do this. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, Read Susie Read tagged me as well as I'm sorry if I mess up your username. Cat Skywriter 24. Sometimes it's hard to like know when to break up the words because there's no spaces. And um, anyway, so those two lovely ladies tagged me, and so I was tagged. Um, so I have a big list of people I want to tag. If you, if I mention you and you've already done it, then just disregard this. Um, you're just cool and got tagged again. And if you haven't done it, you should totally do it because I thought it was fun. Marine Kiwi, Jesse the Reader. Polly and Banana Books, Books Over Looks, Ariel Bissett, Miss Emify, Sweet Book Reviews, Copper Hair Production, Astrid the Bookworm, Elizy Books, The Eighth Potter, and Heavy Shell. So that was a lot of people. Normally I just say, all you guys do it. And, and you should do it if you want to do it. If I didn't name you, you should. But yeah, so you all should do it. This is a fun tag. I had fun. So... I'm gonna go. Uh, this video was extremely long and yeah, but I hope you guys are having a great day and I'm going to go soon because I'm going to a graduation. Yee! But I will see you guys soon. Bye!